Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. And take a big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in, a sense of taking in fresh air, the lungs expanding. As you breathe out, a sense of letting go of any stress in the body and the mind. Wow, that is so relaxing. It's always good to take one chill brain break to start off the day. Now let's go to word of the day. Hey Randy, I saw you signed up for the school play. Yeah, I did. It was a spontaneous decision. Oh, so it was unplanned and impulsive? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Well, guess what? I signed up at last minute too. Well, I guess we'll be spontaneous together. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the, the day. day. It's good to be a little spontaneous from time to time. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Valencia. Sports fans, professional powerlifter and 38-year-old mother of two, Tamara Walcott made history again at the Rogue Record Breakers exhibition last weekend. Walcott lifted an incredible 641 pounds during the competition that took place at the 2022 Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, Ohio. The now famous lifter only beat herself as the previous record of 636 was set by her at the World Raw Powerlifting Federation just last year. This six-time deadlift champion managed to hold the bar up for several seconds right before dropping it to the floor. Parenting and in the lifting field, she sure is a powerful woman. Now let's see what's cooking with Chanel. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is pizza dippers, marinara dipping sauce, sunsplash veggie juice, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Chanel. That sure sounds delicious. The Globe Party is on March 16th. To go, you need 25 past lessons in reading and math I ready. The due date is tomorrow, so make sure to get your lessons in. I can't wait to see all the hardworking Patriots at the Globe Party. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Peyton. I hope it's nice and sunny. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. It looks like you should be expecting a nice day with the temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies ahead. In other weather news, we wanted to talk about indoor plants. You might think that house plants only serve as decor, but the truth is there is much more. Studies have shown house plants to be beneficial to your breathing. Scientists tested three common house plants, peace lilies, corn plants, and fern annum. These plants can decrease indoor air pollution by 20%. So not only do they jazz up your house, but it also depollutes your home. So add a plant and breathe easier. Now let's go to David for our video game segment. Hey Patriots, welcome back to BBG. Today's video game of the week is Super Mario Odyssey. This game can only be found on Nintendo. In this game, you go to different places like New York or the desert and have to fight different monsters like Goombas, Piranha Plants, Red and Blue Turtles, and more. You also have to figure out puzzles to unlock different locations in the game. There are also customizations that you can add to Mario like hats, clothing, and accessories. 
The difficulty is easy to moderate because Mario Odyssey was meant for younger to casual gamers. It can sometimes get a bit challenging with the puzzles. The graphics of the game are bright, colorful, and full of life. It's just so much fun to watch Mario use his hat and powers. The game design of the beaches, cities, animals, and clothing all really stand above previous Mario games. It can be replayed a couple of times to unlock the secrets of all the world's areas, but other than that, after the story mode mission is complete, there is not much you have left to do. This game is very enjoyable due to the fact it has a long story mode and there are many puzzles and secret items you can find around the game. I would rate this game an 8 out of 10 because although it is good, I would have loved the option to play with some fan favorites such as Luigi or Yoshi. Now here are some pros and cons. That's all for this week's video game. I'll to see you later. Thank you, David. That sounds like a terrific game. Today's birthday girl is Shania Young. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, hear your pot's expectations. They represent. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Onley, and Miss Sheriff. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Explorer are all different types of web. The correct answer is web browsers. Now teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. How many total time zones are there in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!